And I told him, I said, so anytime anybody else tells you go back to Iran, first of all, you tell them, where do I have to run? Because it's not Iran, it's Iran. <laughs> and second of all, tell them it's not an insult to go. You'd gladly go. Some kid at school had, uh, you know, um, told my kid to go back to Iran. And my kid came home, you know, born here in Maryland. And, you know, he was like at the time nine years old. And he, he said, they tell me to go back to Iran. And I felt so terrible. And I thought, God, look, he thinks Iran is an insult to go to Iran. And so I called the father of that kid. And he was more ignorant than the kid himself. And I got in a big argument with him over this, you know, just <laughs> right. anyway. So I decided, you know what? I can't change everybody here who has a bad opinion or a, a wrong opinion about Iran. But I can maybe change my kid's impression and, and um, idea of what Iran is. And so we took them there. My wife was, of course, all on board. And so we took them there and I took them to Persepolis on purpose. I wanted them to see all this stuff, you know, the beauty of, you know, as we Persians know, the history and the sites and the food and the culture and everything. And they got to see it firsthand. And I told them, I said, so anytime anybody else tells you go back to Iran, first of all, you tell them, where do I have to run? Because it's not Iran, it's Iran. And second of all, tell them it's not an insult to go. You'd gladly go.